South Africa, while an economic giant in Africa, has itself been shackled to the citrus global value chain. Global value chains are international networks in which part of the product are made in different geographical areas around the world before becoming a finished product that is consumed by you. The Sunday River Value is a powerhouse citrus producer in South Africa. It is commonly believed that connected to global value chains will create jobs that better workers' lives in developing countries. However, for the South African citrus industry to remain globally competitive, the industry has casualized its labor force and tends to hire documented and undocumented migrant labor. Farms tend to have abusive work relations, but these abusive work relations express itself in unique ways for immigrant, unskilled farm workers. This is because, among other reasons, a portion of the immigrant farm workers do not have work permits. And failure to have work permits hinders the immigrant workers' ability to negotiate with farm owners or to report workplace violations. The International Labour Organization uses decent work agenda as a strategy to uplift workers in these dire conditions. The ILO defines decent work as jobs with adequate income, where workers' rights are protected under conditions of human dignity, security and equality. Zimbabwean workers in the SRV were measured against the four pillars of decent work and these were the results. The first pillar I'll discuss is the promotion of workers' rights. Migrant workers' rights are commonly violated on farms. An example is the Basic Condition of Employment Act, where employers may not deduct monies from workers' salaries unless there's a collective agreement or workers agree in writing. Farm owners were found to pocket a part of undocumented migrant workers' salaries through deductions disguised as UIF payments. The second pillar is social dialogue. This pillar is designed to promote vulnerable workers' voice. This can be through trade unions, for example. Zimbabwean workers on the farms cannot speak in fear of being victimized or dismissed from work. They are unable to report violations or use institutions such as the Labor Department in fear of being deported. The third pillar there was the social protection pillar. This pillar of decent work speaks to how society supports workers to achieve their basic living standard and access to their basic needs. Undocumented immigrants are disqualified for accessing any social welfare schemes that the South African government offers. And this effect was even more dire during the COVID-19 lockdown. The fourth pillar is the employment of opportunities. This pillar aims to create decent employment characterized by skill development, secure employment and decent work wages. Migrant workers working on these farms experience no skill development, inconsistent wages and their work is temporary and informalized. Unskilled immigrant farm workers do not experience decent work in the Sunday River Valley. Thank you.